Hi everyone, this is Space Toad and welcome to this new Buildcraft video. Today I'm going to show you the current status of the 6.1 version of Buildcraft. So this is a this is a preview. Um, but there are already a lot of things that have been done and I just wanted to give you a, a quick overview of what's coming. So the first thing of interest uh, here is this new gates. Now they, they look like the previous ones but actually right now you can have different gates on different sides of the pipe. So uh, as you remember before you could only place one gate uh, on the pipe and it would sort of appear on, on all the available sides at the same time. Now gate pretty much act as uh, pipe plugs and you can uh, add them all, all around the place which means that you will be able to add um, much more complex mechanics um, to our logics rather uh, on a given pipe. So here I have just one gate uh, located on this uh, pipe. Now the other thing that uh, was added uh, is in terms of uh, various actions and here in particular I have an action which is called close pipe. Uh, it will work for item transporting pipes, for fluid transporting pipes as well as um, power pipes and the idea is that using this action it's possible to completely disconnect uh, part of the piping network and in particular here you see I should have a position uh, on these items but thanks to this pipe I don't uh, although there is some power being produced over there uh, if I cancel the uh, pipe closing I have the energy that flows to those objects if I activate it uh, again um, the energy stream is shut down and again that would work for pretty much um, any kind of pipe. Now one of the things that have been added as well is this uh, emerald pipe, um, sorry emerald gates. Now those gates are extremely interesting although they have not been exploited to their full extent yet in this uh, in this demo. The idea here is that uh, number one you will be allowed to have several um, parameters uh, for trigger. So before there was just one parameter maximum but you can see that uh, here there is provision for additional parameters if need be and uh, current buildcraft triggers would be extended to take advantage of this. Now the other part is that parameters are available for actions as well so uh, for example this guy is one of the new action it says to robots that uh, this station can provide items to them and here I'm going to be allowed to filter with uh, several different items. Again, that's just a preview. It's a little bit buggy, so not everything is working out. It's just a kind of a, a status update if you are interested. I will show these things into uh, some more details um, in a later video. Um, let's carry on. So now here I'm going to place uh, a few of the uh, well-known lumberjack robots. And as you can see, while well before they would move around, here they stick to their stations. And the reason why they stick to the station is that actually those stations are controlled through gate here. If I open the gate, uh, I can see that uh, if there is no red pipe signal, then the robot receives the go to station order, which in this case, since they are already on the station, means stay on this station. Of course, uh, if I want to, I can um, ask them to start working. So I'm going to release them here. So see, now they are going to do their thing. If I activate or deactivate the wire again, uh, they cancel what they were doing and they're coming back. Okay, so now I'm just going to um, let them do their life and we're going to see other uh, robots that have been added uh, in this version, in particular those those ones which I guess I was supposed to place in the second row. Um, these robots are going to be um, tasked to planting trees in the world and there is probably nothing at the moment to plant or maybe I just... Uh, okay, I'm not activating the right one. Huh. Probably 
made a mistake here. It says pipe blue signal off, then move around. So they should definitely move around right now. But I guess the reason why they're not moving around is that they cannot find any uh, saplings anywhere. So I'm going to add some. Um, this tree. Oh, here, we, here we go. So what happened is that these robots they are responsible for plant trees. So they are looking for saplings. There was no sapling before, uh, but uh, they found some now. So they are getting them. And as you can see, they are now going to plant uh, the trees in the world. By the way, I've got plenty of robots that require power right now, but actually they, they have what they need. So um, those those ones are going to be filled with power anytime soon. Anyway, so, so, so you can see that here uh, there is some kind of a, a self-contained system where uh, some robots will cut wood and then some robots will be responsible for uh, planting trees and yeah, here I've got one here for example. Um, and yeah, here, went through here, this guy needed a, um, some kind of refill which is why it came back here I can tell that again as I said this version is a bit uh, buggy still this robot is trying to plant the tree here but uh, this won't work okay now let's follow this one to actually see something working that would be nice for a change uh, the, the, the location of the trees is, is random within the scope so um, here here we go so tree planted, at least that worked correctly, right? Um, carrying on, you've seen the uh, picker robots already a few times, uh, just working the same way as before, going to uh, pick them stuff and then place them into the um, chests that are expected, uh, expecting objects, sorry. And the last one that was added was this um, robot here, which will be tasked to cut leaves and um, it should be allowed to move I think it the issue is that it doesn't find the, the tools it's expecting to cut leaves so I'm going to uh, again as before add some uh, okay I don't care for this guys Okay, and now let me actually add some tools here. Yeah, now you see those robots that are coming to fetch their tools. Okay, and they are going to do their job, which is going to cut all the leaves uh, that uh, are around, uh, which is some way of uh, cleaning up the job after the uh, Lumberjack has uh, scuffed the wood. Anyway, I uh, apologize for the fact that uh, this video is a bit messy. As I said, this uh, version of Buildcraft in into heavy development right now. Uh, there are a lot of things that are happening. I hope to be able to show you a more comprehensive video in a couple of weeks. Uh, but that's it for now. Thanks a lot for having watched the video. I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.